Good morning, the sun's about to rise. We are here at downtown West Palm Beach, Florida for the 2012 Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure. I'm Brie Wolf for United TV and we are turning passion into action. We're with John here at the New Balance Tent. How are you helping turn passion into action? Uh, turning passion into action for the last 20 years, New Balance has been working with the Coleman events, uh, some of the things we do. Uh, we have shoes with Race for the Cure ribbon, uh, outfits for the past 20 years we've been sponsoring uh, the event, also having uh, coupons and, and trying to get out there and get the message across that New Balance isn't just like a shoe, shoe just a shoe. Uh, they're also connecting with the community and uh, trying to help out and show that you know there's a passion out there that we could connect and help and donate and fight 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 the cause. Elena what brings you out here this morning? Um, I run the race for the cure every year um, several years ago my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and she's a survivor and so I like to come out and run for her. Um, last year a, a friend was diagnosed with breast cancer and she's just now completed chemo and radiation so today I'm running on Team Speranza. Go Team Speranza. Have so much fun. Thank you so much. We found the running ninjas over here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys today? We're good. Thank you. What brings you out to the race? Well, to support breast cancer research and detection and to support all the survivors out here too. I understand you're one yourself. Yes, I am. How many years? Um, actually, recent. Um, I was diagnosed in 2010. So here I am, two years later, still here. Running to find a cure. Yes, absolutely. Um, my wife's company is runningninja.net, and we have a team out here today. We've uh, raised money. We've been doing this for many years now, and uh, the masks are new this year. <laughs> we like the masks. <laughs> So this is a lot of fun. This is a great race. Everyone should participate either here in West Palm or wherever uh, there's a Komen race being held. Uh, you you got to come out and support it. This is, it's for a good cause and it's a lot of fun. We're at the very important man over here, Roger Kirk. Tell us your involvement with today. Well, we uh, are truly excited to be the host hospital this year of the uh, Komen event. And uh, as a hospital in the county, we're very much involved in uh, preventing and treating uh, breast cancer, so our involvement is a natural force. And uh, this year, as the host hospital, we're involved financially, but our whole hospital has got caught up in the race for the cure, and uh, we're truly excited. I see you have a big team over here. Huge team. Uh, I don't know who's taking care of the patients at the hospital today, <laughs> but uh, yes, the hospital is really involved, and uh, it's an event that uh, really fits our whole mission, which is to uh, really uh, eliminate this disease. And one day we're going to do that. And one day we're going to do that, and with all the support that we have here today, um, and, and our medical communities, and our doctors, and everybody working together, uh, the chances are better today than ever. Because we're turning our passion into action. Turning our passion into action, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Jessica, what does it mean to be the face of the race? It's so exciting. Um, for years, they've told me that they never really knew who the face of the race was. And by coincidence, everything just came together. And one thing led to another. We ended up meeting each other. Uh, I went to the Susan G. Coleman uh, office and met someone there. And everything just started snowballing. So it's exciting. Unbelievable. And tell us about your journey. Um, I was diagnosed originally at the age of 29 with stage 2 uh, breast cancer. Um, we did chemo, I did a bilateral mastectomy, I had 38 rounds of radiation. Um, they gave me a couple months off to kind of heal. I went in for the full PET scan to make sure everything was gone and it was the all clear. And when we did that, it actually showed that it had come back. So I had a reoccurrence and I'm now doing chemo again, but it doesn't kill my spirit. So. At all. We will find a cure and you will battle this thing. Absolutely, I'm already winning. Yeah. The face of the race, so nice to meet you. You too, thank you. Thank you. These two incredible women, Nancy G. Brinker, founder of the Susan G. Komen, and Hoda Kotfi from the Today Show, we are so happy to be here today. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. Thank you so much for this and for the support you all give in this community because every walker and runner and even somebody who's just observing this helps us get that much closer to having more people survive this disease and right here in our own community and around the world. Absolutely, and we're a little shy of our South Florida fundraising goal of $2 million, but viewers, you can actually yeah. donate until the end of February. Yes, no amount is too small, you know? Help us, $5, $10, it doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, it all adds up. You know, a mammogram for a low resource person costs about $100. So we say to people, if you wanna give a gift of life, give $100 to this event today, and we will be able to provide yet another service for a woman who would have no other care. And a man too, because you know men do develop breast cancer. The great thing too here is you can actually see that it's needed. You know, when you're looking in someone's eyes, you go, oh, when, sometimes you give and you write a check and you go, where's that going? But here you actually look at people. We met a beautiful girl named Jessica. She's been through bre uh, breast cancer a couple of times. You want to give her everything. So I think it's that kind of thing yes. that really pulls uh, at your heart. Really does. We'll get, get hope from this today, hope, information. They get to come and see Hoda, can you imagine? I mean, it's really exciting. We have, no, this is a wonderful celebration and I'm just, my heart is so full today to see everybody turning out and this being the first of the race series around the world, starting right here in, in the Palm Beaches. Amazing, we love you guys, thank you so thank much. You. And we love you too. We're with Linda who just won the women's competitive race. How does it feel? Oh, it feels awesome. So much energy out here. Everyone's here to raise money for breast cancer research, running for somebody in memory of or in honor of. So I'm just, it's, it's, it's awesome. Is it true you're about to go run the men's race? Yeah, I always try to do the men's and the women's race, but I don't race the men's. I just kind of go to the back and cheer everybody on, have some fun out there, wearing pink and just screaming and yelling at everybody. We're with the survivor Lucy over here and her whole team. Are you guys excited to walk or run today? Yes, we are very excited. How many years have you been a survivor? Um, actually, I was just diagnosed March 2011. I just finished my treatment, so I'm a brand new survivor, so to speak. Well, congratulations. You. Keep fighting. You have an amazing team behind you. you. Is this your first time coming out to the race? Yes, it is. Although my, um, my employer, they have the biggest public sector team. They've done it for years, so this is my first year, though. How special. Isn't yeah. it amazing seeing all these thousands of people come out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, good luck, Thank have you. fun. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>Started off as a promise back in 1982 to her dying sister, Susan G. Coleman, Nancy G. Brinker is absolutely living out her passion, turning it into action. Until next time, I'm Brie Wolf uniting you with the world, one video at a time.